In this video, we're going to discuss how to construct the interval estimates for the population mean using the samples mean. That if I would like to say that the probability that the population mean is in the interval between x bar minus the e and x bar plus the e is equal to the c, where this c is going to be called the confidence interval, and the x bar is the samples mean, and the e is the error margin. The full slides of this video lecture you can find on the video description and the time code you can find on the commands. So let's start with the point estimate. The point estimate is the estimation of the population mean using a single value and the most unbased, unbiased point estimate of the population mean would be just a sample mean. So let's consider an example. This is the sample of city two children's book, the prices of those books and I would like to estimate the average price of all the books in the bookstore. So if I find the average of this sample, it's going to be $74.22. And my point estimate for the population mean would be simply $74.22. Now, so I would like to say, instead of saying like, hey, the population mean is just this one, 74 plus 22, I would like to say, hey, the population mean is uh, 70 in the interval between 74.22 plus minus some number. So before we start talking about how to construct the confidence interval, let's talk about this random variable. So if I take one sample with set of two bigs, and if I calculate the average, it's going to be 74.22. If I take another sample, it's going, it's going to be a different number. So actually, the sample's average is a random variable and according to the central limit theorem, this random variable has a normal distribution. So basically, if I choose the sample of n items, if I sum them and divide this to the n, it's going to have the normal distribution according to the central limit theorem. You can find the video for the overview of the normal distribution and the central limit theorem on the video description. So the interval estimate is the estimation of the population parameter in some interval around the point estimate. So, it, so the length of the interval actually depends on how confident I would like to be about my interval. So if I would like to be more confident, I'm going to choose bigger intervals. If I would like to be less confident, I'm going to choose a small interval around the point estimate. So the level of confidence actually is the probability that the interval estimate, actually the mean of the population parameter, is, so is, is within this interval. So this area under the normal curve is going to be the C. And depending on how much I would like to be confident, I'm, I'm going to define the interval. For example, if I would like to be confident for 90%, I would like to know what are the z score, what are the critical points. If this area is 90%, then these two areas are going to be 0.05 because the overall area under the normal curve is going to be 1. So let us discuss one more time what does it mean the interval, like the level of confidence. Level of confidence 90%, it's going to be I'm confident was 90% that the population parameter mean is going to be in this interval between minus z and z. Or basically, if I will calculate the mean, probability that this population mean is in this interval between minus z and plus z is equal to 0 0.9. So these two sentences are equivalent. So if I would like to, so I can find, so let's go back to the finding this critical point. So basically I need to go to the table and find the area which corresponds to the 0 0.05 and find a critical point which corresponds to this area, right? So the, this is the table of the Z, uh, the standard normal distribution. From here I need to find 0 0.05. So I see here the near results like a 0 0.05050 and this one. So this should be somewhere in between. So I will go to here, it's going to be minus 1.6 and here it's 64. So 1.64 or maybe 1.645 that's going to be our z scores. So now the critical points for this level of confidence 0 0.95 it's going to be 1.96 and minus 1.96 
and the critical points which correspond to the level of confidence of 99% are going to be plus minus 2.575. So we can find those critical points again exactly in the same manner. By finding this area 0 0.05, uh, I can find the these z scores so now we are obviously when we estimate the population parameter population mean we're going to make some error so the error the difference between the uh, population mean and the sample mean is going to be error we can estimate this error using the formula so obviously i cannot calculate the error between the mu and the x bar because i don't know what is the mu Right, so I would like to estimate this error using this formula. This is going to be called the error margin or the error tolerance. It's going to be calculated using multiplication of the critical point to the sigma, the samples standard deviation, or the population standard deviation divided to the square root of n, which is the size of the sample. So please note that this is going to work for samples which are more than 30, which have more than 30 items according to the central limit theorem and only in this case or in this case the x bar the samples mean has going to have the normal distribution so let's find the error margin for our example so in our example we chose 32 bigs from the local store and we calculated the average price of the 32 bigs is going to be 74.12 dollars and we can all at the same time we can calculate the standard deviation as 23.44. So from here, I would like to construct the 95 level of confidence. In order to do this, I need to first of all find the error margin. So I, I would like to find the error margin using this formula. So the 95% level of confidence has the critical point 1.96. And I can put all the values here and can find the error margin is equal to the $8 and using this interval confidence interval at uh, the error margin we can construct the confidence interval a c confidence interval for example in our case is 95 percent confidence interval for a population mean it's going to be x bar minus the e and x bar plus the e we can construct the confidence interval for our example so we previously we found that the x bar the average price of the sample is equal to 74 and the error margin is 8.12 we can subtract this from the x bar and we can add this to the x bar and we can get the borders of our interval and in the end we can say as a conclusion we can say that with 95 percent of the confidence we can say that the average big price in this whole store is between 66.10 and 82.34 so now let's talk about how to define the sample size so basically as we take more and more sample more and more items in our sample we can predict the population mean more better right so our at the same level of the confidence if i take more and more uh, items to the sample bigger and bigger sample i can get my interval the confidence interval smaller and smaller and actually i can find the size of the so if i'm given the uh, some level of confidence and if i need to have the confidence level wasn't some interval wasn't some error margin i can find the number of the sample so the size of the sample using this formula so basically i just need to calculate the critical point which corresponds to my confidence level to the sigma which is going to be the samples standard deviation divided to the e so note that if you just came to the big store if you just like to know how many books you need to choose for example in order to calculate the n you just need to know here the sigma which is unknown right so you can just take the 30 books to your sample first of all and calculate the standard deviation for the sample and substitute this with the sigma and once you find the n you can take this n books and update the sigma one more time so let's calculate let's calculate this n for the following example so let's say we went to the big store we would like to say it was 95 99 percent of the confident that the sample mean is was it was in five thousands around the sample mean right 
So in order to do this, so I'm going to use the standard deviation of the set of two samples, which we used to have before, and the critical point to the 99 level of confidence is going to be 2.575. And if I substitute everything to the formula of the N, I would like to get the, I'm going to get 145.7. So we need to get at least 146 bigs in order to get the confidence interval with the error margin 5. So let's list the algorithm of constructing the confidence level for the int, for the mean for the population mean where we take the large samples. You can find the video on how to construct the confidence level, confidence intervals for the mean for the small sizes uh, in the link on the video description. So in order to construct the confidence interval for the mean, we need to identify first of all the sample size and then we need to calculate the sample mean. So you can calculate the sample mean by summing all the entries in the sample and dividing this to the n. Then the next step is if you know this population standard deviation by some reason, it's good. If you don't know this, we need to calculate this by subtracting the mean from all the entries and by squaring the differences and adding them and dividing them to the n minus 1 and taking the square root, we can find the standard deviation. Once we found this, we need to find the critical points which depends correspond to our level of confidence. So usually it is given, so for example, if I would like to construct the 90% of level of confidence, my critical point is going to be plus minus 1.6, kind of 45. If I would like to find the 99% or 95% uh, level of confidence, then I need to find the corresponding critical points from the table of the standard normal distribution. Then we need to find the error margin. So now I'm going to calculate the error margin using the critical point, which I found in the step number three. Then I can find a sigma or s, which I found in the step number t. And here, instead of n score, I'm going to fit the square root of the sample size. So once I found this, I can calculate the confidence interval by subtracting and by adding the error margin to the mean, which I found on the first step. So this is how we need to construct the confidence intervals for the mean, for the population mean with the sample size.